Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. It's your boy Fat Crypto, and today I'm doing a technical analysis on Cardano. If you're new to my channel, I do coin overviews, technical analysis, trading series, finding hidden gems, basically trying to be your one stop shop for crypto information. I'd like to point out a couple things before we get started. Number one, I am not a financial advisor. None of what I say or do is financial advice. Please do your own research before investing in any of the projects that I talk about. Number two, if you are interested in buying some Cardano, feel free to use my Binance link down below. By using that link, you'll be able to get 10% of the commission that Binance take off each of your trades given back to you, as well as giving 10% to me. A win-win if you ask me. Finally, I'd like to point out, if you have got a 1440p display, be sure to watch my content in 1440p. Uh, if the option isn't currently available, uh, it's most probably because YouTube takes a lot longer to process 1440p when compared to 1080p, and I'll release my videos as soon as 1080p is available. But if you have that option available, be sure to watch my videos in high quality, literally and figuratively. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So Cardano. And before I start, if you if you guys follow my channel quite a bit, you know I like bringing projects that dipped and then I like gloating about it when I've, when I've got them right, right? So I'm going to show you this. Uh, May 4th, I was like, Cardano looking to break out bullishly, huge gaze, gains imminent. And we can see it was sitting at roughly $1.31. I noticed this uh, symmetrical triangle that it was trading within. And let's see where it's at now. Nearly $2, right? Nearly a 2x. It was around here when I made the video. I noticed this uh, sort of pattern it had been trading in, this very significant line of uh, support. And zooming in, I noticed this line of resistance, right? And we broke out exceptionally bullishly, right? Finding a little bit of resistance in that resistance region that I highlighted from 1.45 to 1.48, right, uh, dollars. Uh, we can see I found, we found a little bit of resistance finding that top trend line for support. I did mention this in my video. I said, I'd like to see this breakout, come back for a retest before exploding. And we got exactly that. Look at that. We broke out, found resistance exactly in that resistance region. I haven't changed any of these regions. Do check my other video out from $1.45 to $1.48. Exactly there. You'll see the exact same point. We found resistance here, came back to retest the top and we started exploding, right? I'd like to point out we started using that one fib level marking that all-time high for support and we've been bouncing even with bitcoin dumping the way it did we have the cardano strayed very very strong and uh, i mentioned in one of my other videos potential price targets this 1.618 fib level in another one of my videos a video right after the one i did there when i said it has broken out um i mentioned this 1.618 fib level as a significant resistance what are we seeing exactly that right finding resistance exactly on the 1.618 right so let's say it fails from this where am i looking to potentially buy some cardano obviously this one fib level at 1.55 dollars seems to have established itself as a very significant support you can see how this was a very very strong resistance we got rejected off its substantial like substantial resistance uh, at this level and we've been establishing support here right so we could if we drop down to these levels find some support before heading back up if we drop a little bit further i'm looking at this region right marking these all-time highs right this is where we got three separate rejections right so that, like I mentioned, from $1.45 to $1.48. The next reason I'd be expecting some support is from $1.34 to $1.37, right? $1.38, closer to. We can see when I take this back, resistance, resistance, it broke above, tried to find support, failed. When it did break above, trying to find resist, uh, support here, a lot of price action within this area. The next area I'm looking at is between... $1.23 and $1.27. You can see support, 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 resistance, a lot of price action here. If it breaks any further than this, I'll make another video highlighting the uh, uh, areas of support. Um, for now, it's I'm, it's not there, so I'm, I'm just not going to mention the other ones. But like I said, if it does break below, I'll, start, I'll make another video. So let's take a look at, I've got one of the price targets, right? Yeah, we're finding resistance here. What are the next ones? So at the 2.618 fib level, I would expect some resistance, $2.50. Mind you, because $2 is a nice round number, I'd expect a substantial amount of resistance here. And we are seeing that resistance right now. So it might be a bit of a struggle to break through this. We might have to go down lower before we start going up. But that 2.618, the $2.50 would be the next substantial area of resistance I would expect. Moving further up, 
I'm looking at that 3.618, right? $3.20. Obviously, there'll be resistances between these points, but it's uncharted territory. We don't know where. These are the levels that I can uh, safe, not safely, but like with a relative degree of probability, say we will find resistance, right? And then the 4.236 Fib level at $3.60. So they, that's where I'm looking for as potential price target. So going on the daily, looking at the simple moving averages, we can see we've started to use that 20 day exponential moving average as a support, right? Also the 10 day kind of acting as a support, but we could come down to retest this 10 day simple moving average to confirm the bullishness because, you know, using the 10 day as a support is extremely, extremely bullish, right? And I mentioned this in my previous video that the 10 day, which is why I was indicating a breakout because that 10 day had crossed above the 50 day simple moving average, the 20 day exponential moving average and the 20 day simple moving average. And it seems like we're currently using the 20 day EMA support. If we start using that 10 day simple moving average of support, we are looking very, very nice, right? Just wanted to quickly point that out. Just another thing, you know, the RSI is nearing the overbought region. So we could see some st substantial resistance at this uh, 1.618 Fib level, maybe some sideways mo motion, maybe like I said, come back to retest that 10 day, uh, correcting the RSI because we are nearing the overbought region before the next leg up. But Cardano is looking very strong. I think this is just the start of this breakout. I think we could start seeing some very, very nice gains with Cardano. Obviously Cardano is a fantastic project. Uh, if you do wanna see a full coin overview on Cardano, I'll put a banner just above my head, Beastwatch, check it out. I go into the technology. I go into quite a lot of depth uh, regarding the project. So do check that out if you're interested. But yeah, it's been your boy Fat Crypto. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. If you didn't, do dislike the video um, and let me know why you dislike the video so I can actively improve. But yeah, it's been your boy Fat Crypto and I will see you in the next video.